That's it. I'm not coming back here anymore. Me either. Oh man, I just messed up. And this is today's mystery meat. Can you figure it out what it is? I gotta be honest with you. I have never seen anyone cook this. Not only is it unpopular on supermarkets, you cannot get it. And if there's any mystery meat that ever scared me, it's this one. I have literally no idea how to cook it. And most importantly, my goal is to make it taste good. But as you saw it in the beginning of the video, when they did try it, man, everything went south. Now the question is, have you been able to figure it out what it is? How well do you really know your meats? Because if you know what this is, I'm impressed. When I got it, it did not look like this. I mean, take a look. First of all, it's extremely slimy. And at the same time, it has a lot of membranes, as you can see. At this stage, it is unworkable. And because I have no idea how it was processed, the first thing I needed to do was to go ahead and wash it really good. However, just washing it under cold water is not enough. So outside I went and into boiling water it went. Believe it or not, I let it stay there for 30 minutes. But as soon as the hard boil started, you can see that we got a quite a bit of scum. After about 30 minutes, I immediately change it to cold water. And as you can see, it completely changed shape on me. So the next step was to go ahead and pat it dry. Once completely dry, it was time for the butchering. And the first thing I needed to do is to remove the silver skin. This skin right here does not want to come out for whatever reason. But once I was done, I was actually able to remove it. And this tip is quite interesting. But even though it's quite interesting, I have to cut it off. Why? I'll let you use your imagination. The next thing I needed to cut it off was the piece of meat that was attached to it. It's just not necessary for what I'm gonna do. Following that, even though it's look nice and clean, we still have quite a bit more cleaning to do. And the first thing was to remove a vein that is inside. This is crucial. To do it though, it's not easy. To soften things up, I have to blanch it one more time. I left it there for an additional 30 minutes. Then I immediately transferred to cold water. Once it was completely cooled off, it was a little easier to handle. Though. So I grabbed a butter knife and went ahead and removed it. The final stage was to remove this extra skin. You see, we're looking for the inner part. Because once I was done, this is what I was left with. Today's mystery meat. I'll be honest with you. When I started this series, I never thought that I would be cooking this. And like I always say, never knock out something until you try it. Because I promise you one thing. I'm gonna make this taste really delicious. And here's how. Since this thing is extremely tough, we first have to tenderize it. So I decided to go ahead and cut some slits right in between. As you can see, even though I cut it, it did not went all the way through. Then into a sous vide bag they went, followed by an incredible marinade. Because this marinade, I am convinced that will make anything taste amazing. And we're talking about Bidia marinade. All of the ingredients are gonna be in the description down below for you. Because the first thing you gotta do is to boil some chilies. If you don't want it too spicy, try to remove as much seeds as possible. Once you have rehydrated them, everything goes into the blender. First, a good amount of tomatoes, followed by white onions, the chili mix with just rehydrated, a little bit of that liquid, followed by salt, granulated garlic, grounded cinnamon, brown sugar, one chicken bouillon, and finished it off with lemon. Now blend everything on high because the marinade is done. It does not get any any easier than this, friends. It will make any meat taste incredible. Don't believe me? You'll just wait and see. Because after throwing everything into the bag, I vacuum sealed it and it was now ready for sous vide. Talking about that, I cooked it at 185 degrees Fahrenheit for 24 hours. That was perfect because it allows me time to go ahead and make an incredible sauce for today's cook. And this recipe, I got it from my good friend Oscar from La Capital. It is as authentic as it gets. And even though it might not look appetizing, the flavor is just out of this world. First thing we gotta do is to cook up some tomatillos and garlic. We just wanna get a nice color on them. Usually it takes about two to three minutes. Check it out once I was done. Little bit of char is the way to go. Next, you gotta throw everything into the blender. Followed by some chilies I rehydrated in boiling water, white onions, cilantro, salt, and pepper. Blend everything on high because that's it. I'm telling you friends, this sauce is really easy to make and you will bring anything to a whole new level, especially tacos, which is exactly what we're gonna be doing with this mystery meat. However, just in case my mystery meat is not gonna turn out great, I went ahead and made an incredible ground beef. And my hopes was that at least my friends were not gonna be mad at me, especially when they find out what it is. So to cook this wonderful ground beef, it was super simple. First, I started with a good amount of white onions. Once they started getting a little bit of color, I threw in some garlic. Then I added ground beef and mixed everything together until the redness was gone. As then, I added some tomato paste. Mixed everything together and let it simmer under high heat. Because then I seasoned 
seasoned with garlic powder, followed by onion powder, a tiny bit of cayenne pepper, black pepper, cumin, and of course, finish it off with salt. Now mix everything together and combine these ingredients because that's my seasoning. Now right towards the end, I added some jalapenos, followed by habanero, and a little bit of green onions. You see, I don't like my jalapenos to cook right away. If you let them cook from the beginning, they'll get way too soft. Because after about one minute of stirring it, my ground beef was done. Now this, I can guarantee that it's going to be delicious. However, I cannot say the same exact thing for the mystery meat. Because once the time was up, I took them out, opened up the bag, and this is what they look like. Completely different from when we started. But my hopes is that the marinade really did its job. Now you take a look at it and you tell me, doesn't this look appetizing? Come on now. And I can tell you one thing, it smells delicious. There's something about the birria marinade that it's really good. Talking about that, the only thing left to do is to go ahead and chop everything up. However, I'm gonna be leaving a few of them intact just in case the guys wanna give it a try. Because in the end, take a look. This is today's mystery meat. It looks a lot more appetizing than when we started. If you had no idea what it went through, would you give this a go? But I know exactly what you're thinking, huh? I know this does not look that good right now. But well, watch this. Alright everybody, here we got our beautiful taco feast today, gentlemen. You said it, Google. This is a feast. I am super excited to eat this. I'm starving right now. All this looks fantastic. I cannot wait to dive in. Today we are eating a wonderful, beautiful taco meat right here, and then we have a mystery meat. I'm here, so there's a mystery meat. <laughs> <laughs> Leo, is this your first mystery meat episode? I, I think it is, and you know, I was very excited looking at all these tacos, and now that you say this is mystery meat, I'm scared. <laughs> this one. I'm not gonna say anything, huh? Ah, uh, no! I'm not gonna say anything. There no. we go. No, I can guarantee no. you it's gonna taste good. I mean, it looks yeah. beautiful. Right? Okay, so this is the mystery meat one, and then this is the real taco one. Which one would you guys like to start first? I don't know about you, Mama, but I'm thinking maybe we go normal taco. Do I want to start with the good one and then take the risk, or do I want to take the risk and then have something to wash my palate off? Hey, don't worry, that's why there are more tacos here. We're yeah. Gonna, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's start with the good one. Let's start, start with the good one? Okay, with good very one. good. All right, go for it. All right. I hope it's good. I haven't tried it yet, but I have a feeling it's gonna taste be very, very tasty. Oh, it smells oh. amazing. It does, right? Ah! Oh. Did you break it? Broke already. Give me your honest opinion on this one. All right. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Come on. Wow. Are you happy that you're here for mystery meat, Mama? I'm uh, happy that I'm here for this meat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what kind of sauce you made on this. It's this one right here. You see, the color is not very interesting because it's kind of brown, but the flavor that comes out of this thing. Very huh? flavorful, perfectly seasoned, a little bit of spice just to kick it up a little notch. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Like my mom was saying, it's very flavorful. There's almost a, like a little bit of acidity on it. It's savory, a little bit spicy. It has so many things going on. It's just all of the textures that you get from the taco itself. It has some onion, some cheese, everything. Blends perfectly. I love tacos and this is a great taco, guys. It is time for the mystery meat. You guys ready? No. <laughs> no? Okay, so just uh, at least for my sake, smell it. How wonderful it smells. It smells good. It already doesn't look good. Uh, come on, Leo. It smells good. It smells yeah, good. It smells good. Hey, mama, smell it. Ooh, it smells sweet. But what does it look like? It looks like dog poop. Yeah. <laughs> it took the words out of my mouth. Come on, Leo. It is not dog poop. Come on, man. <laughs> let's go for it, yeah? Okay. Uh, all right, let's dig in, gentlemen. Please. Super excited to yeah, try Mama, this. Mama, don't break this one, yeah? I'll try. Mama, on a scale of one to 10, how scared should I be? <sighs> 10. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys ready? Yeah. Yep. Let's get a mouthful on this one. All right, enough talking. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mm, pretty good. I hate to say it, that's delicious, everybody. <laughs> that tastes really good, but the thing that's most surprising to me is the texture of the meat in this. It's not ground beef, it's not even really hard. It's almost like... Yeah, it's not meaty, it's like... No, it's gelatinous. Gelatinous. Whatever it is, it doesn't taste very strong. No, it's the, the flavor came 100% straight from the sauce and the birria, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This is birria sauce, by the way. So yeah, you guys are right. It's like a, a spongy, right? Yeah, but, but, yeah. But, but sticky, but the flavor itself, it's all about the video. It's not super elastic where it's like hard to chew. You're 
not chewing a lot. Like my mouth saying, it's very soft. So it's a little bit of resistance, but the texture is just weird. You ready to find out what it is? Yeah. All right. It is bulls. What? Bulls. Yeah. Spin. The private part. That's it. I'm not coming back here anymore. Me either. Oh man, I just messed up. We just messed with you. It's ah, good. Come on. <laughs> it's good. It's good. <laughs> I don't know how I feel knowing what I ate. Now that I know what it is. Leo, you just ate it. How does it feel? <laughs> <laughs> Look, this is what I'm gonna say, all right guys? It tasted good. Yeah. Now that I know what it is, I'm not having another bite. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> I'll be honest, it tastes delicious. Not because the meat tastes delicious. No. no. It's because the sauce. The marinade and the sauce. Do I recommend you cooking this? Nah, just stick with ground beef, but it's gonna be better. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Just because it's not popular here in the US, we have to give it a try and let you guys know how it tastes. And this tasted pretty delicious. We agree on that. Yes. Yeah, but we're, we're good. We're good. Super Enough good. for today. <laughs> I don't have to try it again for the rest of my life. Yeah. Your first and last <laughs> Yes. Yes, everybody. No more allowed on Google Foods or Sous <laughs> See you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.